between former champion Leslie Charles of Cincinnati and Harold Johnson, the favorite from Philadelphia. Harold Johnson is in the ring at the present time, limping up. And now here comes Boulder heavyweight champion Edward Charles into the ring. needs a win here. He comes into the bout suffering a recent loss to Nino Valdez. Another loss to Johnson has just about put him out of the heavyweight picture. Little to choose between the two in round one of a ten-rounder at Philadelphia. Johnson counters good with the right hand of the car. Charles is a slashing type of fighter. Edward Charles weighs 185 and a half, Johnson 177. Good weight for both of them. The crowd is very partisan in Johnson's favor, which is understood here in Philadelphia. Johnson has a slight cut over his right eye. The first blood drawn in the fight, drawn by Elsie Charles. Charles has been working on the body with a solid left hook. A beautiful right by Johnson. Charles is in trouble and holding on. About a minute to go in round one. Charles staggered by a left hook and hooked by another right. Johnson bothered by the front around his right eye. The underdog is carrying the fight to the ex-champion. Johnson streaming blood around the right eye. It has been one dandy round of fighting here in Philadelphia. Promoted by Herman Taylor. A left and then a right hook down. Johnson a bit over anxious though, as the ex-champion holds on. Here's the bell. Round two and Charles goes to the right and then Johnson returns the fire. They're both out for a quick knockout. Johnson shows a sharp left jab. Remember, Johnson's eye was cut, the right eye, in round one. It could open up again any moment before it throws flashing punches. But Johnson carrying the fight, he hits Charles again. And Everett from Cincinnati has to hold on for a moment. 
Referee Buck McBurn and gets them apart. Charles in the white trunk. And Johnson in the purple trunk. Charles is literally fighting for his mystic life there. The winner could very well get about with the winner of the Marciano La Charge fight. Charles hit him with that left hook to the body. And Johnson again is bleeding around the right eye. Both boys have been very aggressive so far. Just about a minute to go in round two. Charles working on that right eye and it's bleeding again. The Cincinnati Cobra has a darting left hand that works on that eye. Charles is hurt by a countering right to the jaw. Round two is almost over. The bell. And now round three, Edward Charles in the white trunk, Harold Johnson in the purple trunk. A pretty even fight so far. Charles starts to go to work on that injured right eye again. Johnson tries to keep him off with a sharp left jab. Now Charles goes to work on the body as Johnson has rolled into his own corner. The blood is oozing from around Johnson's right eye again. Both boys were hurt on that exchange. is beginning to tell a little bit on Johnson. This round is about half gone. Round three of a 10 rounder at Money Max Stadium in Philadelphia. Charles looks for an opening. There hasn't been a dull moment in the fight so far. About a minute to go in the round. Charles is picking his spots right now. Experience is all in the favor of the ex-champion. Johnson is game, durable, determined. Charles was hurt by a solid right jump to his body.
Round three almost over. Here's round four. Edward Charles, the white son, Charles Johnson in the purple. Charles is six feet tall, and Johnson five feet eleven. So far, it's been a pretty even good fight. Between rounds, I worked on that cut on Johnson's right eye to patch it up. The Charles will be working on it again all over. Charles looking to counter with the right hand. Pops it. Snappy left hand by both of them. And Johnson picks away. Two minutes to go in this round. Round four of the ten rounder. Now Charles works on the body again as Johnson throws a good left hand to the head. Charles' poise and experience start to tell in his favor. About a minute to go. Charles won the heavyweight crown, beating Joe Walcott and succeeded Joe Lewis to the title in 1949. And he lost it to Walcott in 1951. Failed to regain it in a return match. Charles is 32 years old, Johnson 25. Half a minute to go in round four. The pace slows down a little bit in round four. It was Parrott in the first three rounds. Charles hits Johnson and has him holding on. The bell. Round five before a crowd of about 14,000 at Sunny Max Stadium in Philadelphia. Elder Charles in the white trunk. Harold Johnson in the purple. Johnson has had 47 fights. He's won 42, 21 of them by knockout. He won 25 in a row before being KO'd by Jersey Joe Walcott. Johnson carrying the fight for the ex-champion right now. The Philadelphia boy has been hampered by a cut over his right eye since round one. It's not bleeding right now, but it probably will be before the round is over. Charles works on the body and Johnson counters to the head. Two minutes to go in this round. You can see the determination on the faces of both fighters. Long right by Charles.
Brown is half gone. Johnson is right at number one among the light heavyweights behind the champion Archie Moore. Keeps Charles off with that left hand. A minute to go in this round. Charles can't get away from that right there like left. Charles looks for an opening for the right hand. Only seconds to go in this round. The Philadelphian is having a very good round. Only seconds to go in the round. Johnson piling up points with his left jab. The barrel. There's the bell for round six. Edward Charles and Harold Johnson. Crowd is very partisan in Johnson's favor. Johnson scores with a tired right hand pass to the body, and Charles holds on. It's been a battle of attrition all the way. Referee is Chuck McKernan of Pittsburgh. Two minutes to go in this round. Ten round fight in Philadelphia. There have been no knockdowns in the fight so far. Johnson a beautiful left hook to the jaw, nailing Charles on the way in. He follows up with two rights to the head. Mr. the haymaking left. Johnson brings the crowd up rowing. Charles about a two to one favorite. And they hurt each other. They were both hurt that time. One minute to go. Johnson is countering beautifully. Another one in there. See that right hand counter? Charles gets desperate. About 20 seconds left to go in the round. Johnson hurting Charles with body digs. Another countering right hurts Charles, but he battles back gamely. Seconds to go. A big round for Johnson. Here's round seven, Edward Charles and Harold Johnson. Johnson is now trying for a knockout. He's showing disdain for the former champion. 
Charles is 32, he's been fighting since 1940. Charles is coming back a little bit now. He's flashing away with both hands. They cut around Johnson's right eye. has opened up again. Now Johnson has a light cut around the left eye, too. Wasn't this a good fight? Watch the tactical maneuvers as Charles looks for an opening and Johnson takes the counter. Both of good luck shot. Johnson was rolling with that Right hand punch is just as well for him. One minute to go in round seven. Schedule for Sam. Charles is coming back a little bit. Only seconds to go in this round. There's the bell for round eight here at Philadelphia. A very good heavyweight match. Ezra Charles, the former champion, and Harold Johnson, the Philadelphia pretender. And I think it's pretty even. What do you think? Both flashing away with left hand. Both stars have been hurt, but there have been no knockdowns so far. Young Johnson has come a long way in the last year or so. Two minutes to go in this round. Many prominent sports writers in attendance. Mary Rose of the AP, Jack Cuddy of the United Press, Gene Ward of the New York News, Russ Bromberg of the World Telegram and Sun, And now Charles is cut around the left eye. Al Buck of the New York Post is here, and Harry Speck of the Pittsburgh Sun-Telegraph. Jones on a solid right to the head and the left to the body. The referee is Buck McTernan of Pittsburgh. Charles goes with a wicked left hand of the head and Johnson counters with a solid left. One minute to go in this round, another third round. Oh, 
pace has been fast all the way. There's the flashing cobra again, and Johnson pattering nicely to the hub. Now Johnson bleeds a little from around the nose. The ground coming to a close. A blazing right by Charles. Johnson starting left hand finds Charles again and again. This round is almost over. And the bell for round nine of a fucking good fight here in Philadelphia. Harold Johnson in the purple sun, Desert Charles in the white. And we're coming down to the wire in this 10 round bout. Again, the pace speeds up. Johnson carrying the fight to Charles with that solid left turn. There haven't been many heavyweight fights better than this one. Charles looks for an opening, but Johnson keeps him off with a solid left hand. And now Johnson is carrying the fight to him. Charles slows up a little bit. And Johnson gets over anxious. Two minutes to go in this round. Johnson hurts by a right, but he fights back keenly. That was the opening that Charles looked for. Another right by Ezra Charles. Johnson cut around the right eye again. A wicked right hook for the Charles. One minute to go in round nine of a ten-rounder. Charles is coming back here. You can see him coming on inch by inch. He missed that one by plenty. Johnson goes back to boxing, and it's good for it. Charles can't get by the left hand. Another brisk exchange. Seconds to go on the round. The bell. Now the bell for the tenth and final round. Referee McKernan has some touch gloves. This could be the big one. As it goes, Harold Johnson. Charles in the white front, Johnson in the purple. It's been a flashing, whip throwing goal from the opening bell. The left hand has to dominate it. Johnson's left hand scores for him again and again. I've never pushed his team.
One of the few princes of the fight. Two minutes to go in the fight. Two minutes. Johnson carries beautifully with a left and a right. Charles takes the punch well. Looks for an opening. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. But both have been hurt again and again. Half the round is gone. Just about a minute to go on the fight. Just about a minute. Johnson is down to the right hand. They have not scored any knockdown, however. The compulsory eight count was not given. They have called a slip. So there have been no knockdowns officially. Charles coming after his man, however. Charles seems a little bit stronger as the bout comes to a close. But Johnson has scored again and again. It'll be a big upset if Johnson wins. And now we're running out of time. Less than half a minute to go. It's almost over. It's gonna talk her, hasn't it? And there's the final bell. Listen to the crowd. It was a good, hard fight all the way. No, no. It is a split decision, and Harold Johnson has scored a tremendous upset over former heavyweight champion Edward Charles. Harold Johnson of Philadelphia, the winner on a split decision. One of the